Hello everyone, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Ngozi, NG's cooking to be precise. It's Christmas season guys, I'm so happy, excited because there's always plenty to eat, drink and share with your family and friends. I'm always like this every Christmas period. And also make some, you know, some, some here and there, the only thing that makes the world go round, if you understand what I mean, which is also part of the Christmas excitement. So enough of me and my Christmas excitement palaver. Let me just go straight to the cooking of the day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken goat meat stew for Christmas. I have my tomatoes, my red bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, medium size of onions for blending. And here are my spices. I have the white pepper, the chicken powder, the curry, the dashida, the kitchen glory and thyme. I also have the Maggi chicken, some ginger and garlic. I have quite a lot because I'll be using it for both the chicken and the stew. So and I also have the the chicken. It's actually a live chicken it has been killed and cleaned. All the parts are complete and the goat meat. So and also the vegetable oil. I actually forgot to mention that one. So I'm just going to start by boiling the chicken and the goat meat. So I'm going to go in with, with the chicken and the goat meat. It has the same cooking time, so I'm just going to cook them together. Add the onion. Two seasoning cubes, and I'm going to go in with the spices. I'm going to keep this one for later. Some salt. everything together you can marinate for you know some hours overnight depending on what your time permits but for me I'm going to be cooking straight because time is not on my side though I will be marinating it in another way later which I'll be showing you the process of marinating it so it will take much of my time so I'm going to be boiling it for 4 minutes before adding water. You can add water if you like. I like cooking my own like this because I want it to digest all these spices I just added. So it will retain that sweetness when I'm done cooking. So I'm just going to blend my pepper and tomatoes. the tomatoes into smaller junks to for a better blending. Blend the ginger and garlic. I just added the ginger and garlic off camera. I'm going to boil it down to reduce the excess water before I start frying this too. So far. So I'm going to check on the meat, it has been cooking for a while. So it's time for me to add some water because I'll be needing this stuff for this stew. I'll cover it to continue cooking until it's soft and tender. The meat is cooked. It's 
So I'm just going to show you how to marinate the chicken without taking much of my time. So I'm going to blend the ginger and garlic. Add a sufficient amount of water for a better blending. So, I'm just going to show you the process of mixing all the pepper spice to marinate the, the meat without, you know, taking much time. So I've just added the remaining spices that I used earlier, some chili pepper that has been blended, some pepper suya, some suya, um, pepper, suya spice rather, two cubes of maggi chicken. the ginger and garlic I will be saving it because I don't want the much particles in the vegetable oil you can add it if you want to but I will I prefer saving mine I'm not going to be wasting it I'll just be keeping it in case if I want to cook something else I can use it you know just store it in the freezer and preserve it for later So I will mix everything. Then heat up the vegetable oil. I'm going to dip the chicken and the goat meat into the pepper mix mix Make sure it goes round as in the pepper mix goes round the meat. Make sure it's properly mixed. I'm going to add some onions into the vegetable oil just for flavor. Enough, I'm just going to start frying. I'm going to fry it until it's golden brown.
then scoop it out. I'm going to start frying. I'll be using that same oil, but first I have to seal it to get rid of all the unwanted particles. So I'll add the onion. Fry for just two minutes. Then add the tomato paste. Fry for another two minutes. Then add the fresh boiled tomatoes. just going to keep stirring it until I see that the sour taste is no longer there then that's when we know that the tomato is ready for me to start adding the rest of the ingredients so keep frying and testing it So the tomato is ready as you can see it doesn't have much oil because I already have enough oil in the stock so I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning and some spices because I'm going to add the stock so I won't be needing much of the spice and seasoning I'm going to go on, go in with the stock. Stir everything together. Taste for salt. Mine is perfect, and the consistency. Is also perfect. You can add more liquid if you want, to, but this is just the perfect consistency for me. So I'm going to add in the meat. So guys, 
the stew is ready guys when i say it's ready i mean it's ready to be devoured with white rice and some coleslaw thanks for watching please subscribe click the like button and share don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out in any of my newest upload see you next time bye for now